Alright guys, I actually didn't just put in a little floor. I've actually decided that what I think, what, what I will do is get rid of, oh god, is place some redstone on the floor, is get rid of everything in this little temporary obsidian shaft to fully represent that we are now out of here. We are in our new base. We are booming. We've got things set up, more or less. Uh, let's finish that off now. This is all ugly. It's all temporary still, but at least it's in the new place. You know what I mean? Uh, I need to format all of these drives. Something extraordinary. You know what else I need? Uh, torches. I need torches galore. Because I reckon, I just realized it's probably way too dark for you guys on YouTube. Sorry about that. Um, but it shouldn't have been in the dark for too long, so... And hopefully, as well, this will stop other things spawning. And I think the magnum torches will be in effect for a lot of this area. I wonder what permanent lighting solution I should choose. Interesting. The floor, the lighting on these blocks isn't the coolest. But anyway, we are pretty much... I don't know who placed that netherrack block. It might have been me, but I can't remember. We are pretty much there with so much stuff now, guys. We're pretty much there. Let us fucking get this thing onto fast mode which I think it actually was now watch this obsidian be gone <laughs> how cool is this guys it's so fast with obsidian I thought this would be a worry but no oh no that was dumb of me remember the time I captured one of those wispy things with my oh that is dumb of me I didn't mean to oh I guess we got a whole pile of ethereal essences, but that's not something. But I guess it's something useful. But that was a really good node too. Yeah, I I borrowed it just long and short of it. You probably noticed in the time lapse that I had a wand of equal trade. I'd borrowed that from Nip Day, uh, who crafted one and then let me borrow it. But I still needed a, a node to recharge a whole bunch. And uh, uh, one of the nodes I, I I captured with the force wrench trick uh, in the beginning, which doesn't work anymore. So that's why I'm actually annoyed because it's gonna re require a big thorncraft setup to start moving nodes again. Um, I mean, which is fine. It's appropriate. It's 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 right. But at the same time, it's still annoying. Um, can I do stuff like force wrench that? I can. What about this? I th actually, I, you know what? I don't even know if I needed to do that stuff. I think it actually holds its um, memory regardless. But that's cool. What about that? Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. We are going to just clear all this up, guys. It's going to, even though Obsidian isn't taking that long to br break, this isn't exactly going to be riveting for you guys. And what I'm trying to say is I placed one of those Aura nodes, and that was me breaking it. And that was that sound, and that was all that ethereal stuff. Turns out you can just mine them. I thought you had to, like, do something funny with them to break them. But oh well. I will be back once we've got this finished. So that's that mined up, guys. And as if, as if, as if they knew... Uh, as if they knew, it's now becoming night time, and thus with night time, uh, man, that's gonna annoy me that there. With night time, we can now just quickly go and christen our new base with a first night's sleep. Or can we? Yes, we can. Awesome. Come on now, sleep through the night. Ah, uh, isn't it nice in here? Except it's so dark and gloomy. But it will be so cool once I fully kit this out. It's, man, I love Minecraft. I love the shit you can you can build. Uh, let us get a couple of extra things down. Namely, let's put this here. Is that gaining? No. So that means that has to be blue at the back. Yes, awesome. Uh, this can be orange on the side. And we can just put that there. And this there again it doesn't have the accuracy accumulator for the water but that's something we can do later because it's got none of that stuff in it but that's okay we can get that all set up so we can have a little, little bit of a charge station going already uh let's get some of this bullshit away and in fact let's just get all this bullshit away we will do their stuff later but what we want to make now are the mine cam devices mine cam come on will it come up maybe if i do this mine cam and spell it right. There we go, yes. We want to make two things. A chemical decomposer and a chemical synthesis machine. So, let's make this, shall we? Um, we don't have anywhere near enough pistons. Uh, okay, we need to make a shit ton of pistons. Let's just use the uh, 
uh, whatchamacallit recipe because we've got lots of those ingots and they come pretty cheap. Let's make 16 so that I've got a feeling this is going to require one of those things too. So we got one of these atomic whatchamacallits. Uh, does it? Yeah, of course it does. So let's make one of those while we're here so that we can make a second one. But let's make this one first. That should be pretty cheap. The decomposer. And then this one. A little bit more expensive, but still not too bad. The synthesis machine. Now, the main problem with these isn't the... Um, uh, let's see now. Uh, flux. No. Conduit. Have these... Have those... Um, have these, like, formatted themselves properly? Because these all seem to be green. Maybe I won't need to format them. Anyway, whatever. Let's get these set up for pyre. Now, that should be right, shouldn't it? Oh, no. There we go. These should start moving and spinning and whatnot. Awesome. Okay, so, guys. We want to make some... I wonder if I... Do these auto-export? Auto do these auto-export? That's a question we can find out as well. Anyway, um, is there, like, a way we can set it? Look at that storage. It's got a huge storage. Okay, well, anyway, this is irrelevant. We we need to make this stuff. Now, normally, if you were fucking around with Minecam, um, you would need to find out the recipes for things. And you need to find out the recipes for things by making this, a microscope. In fact, you know what? We should make one just to show you guys how that works. Microscope. Because they're pretty cool looking, too. I don't know if they need power. Uh, it's this one. No, no, it's this one. Well, we need to make the microscope. So we need to make the... Oh, the microscope lens. Okay, so concave lens and two convex lenses gets us the microscope lens. And then, no, nope, uh, and then the microscope itself is just this. I don't think it needs power. It doesn't look like it requires power, does it really? Get some food. Otherwise, I'll starve to death. Um. But let me just kind of show you how this works. So, Minecam reminds me of all the good bits of equivalent exchange. Because, how, how did I manage to do that? You basically can make stuff out of other stuff. I haven't actually had a look at this thing yet before. But, um, let's have a read of question mark. Place an item under the glass. So, maybe there. To discover new recipes. Press the switch on the right to toggle between recipes for the... Okay, so that's pretty easy. Now, we want to find out what we can... We, we know already what we... Let's, but let's see. Let's pretend we don't. So let's get uh, one zombie brain. All right? Because we have one left. And we're like, oh, all right, how do we make zombie brains with this? Oh, okay. We can make it with nodularin. Ah. I love how it gets bigger. That's so cool. Oh, that's such a cool effect. So we can, oh, we can make it with nodularin. All right, then. Uh, let us break down this this stuff into... What? Why'd that not work? That was weird. Um, let me see. Can I make some more just by putting it there? Do I actually have to break it? I'm pretty sure it wasn't a chance of getting nodularin. I'm pretty sure it was like you just get nodularin. Hmm. Let's place this back here. Waste not, want not, even though we have an absolute bucket of wood. Let me just show you what I've done. I've also kept these two separate, just in case anything ever happens, we'll be, we'll be, set, we'll be set to go. Now, this is just eating that. Why is that eating that? Why are you eating that? You didn't do that in single player. Maybe there is a chance. Maybe there, maybe that is a chance. Let's let's have a look. Come on. Hmm. 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 Anyway, what you would normally do is you'd get uh, any eye because we have that, and you can see that we get nodularin, and then you can look up the recipe for nodularin, and you can see you can make it out of this stuff here. Now I, I've tried a few different methods, but I think what the stuff I have the most of is coal and uh, feathers and I think together with those we can get enough of the constituent stuff to make a decent amount of zombie flesh and zombie brains I think anyway let's put th that away as a thing let's keep those there because I'm still a bit confused oh, oh no I want coal thank you very much no not capy coal 
There we go. Okay. Two stacks of feathers, two stacks of coal. Now, this should just break that down. Or, no, it, it does, it does, it does, it does, it does. Okay, so I don't know why. Maybe it just, maybe there is a chance of getting nodular iron. So look, we get a really good amount of carbon here. Now, I'm going to place this down. And put all that, no, oh, no, no. I'm going to put all that carbon in there. And then I'm going to get all this carbon and put it in there too. And this should get us a lot a lot of zombie flesh eventually okay so let's just try that again no it really it must be a chance anyway uh i think the actual creation is a lot more likely let's break down these feathers you see we get a bunch of different stuff we get nitrogen but we also get water now we can further break down water the thing that this uses a lot of guys is power you can see here well it's jammed but you can see here uh it'll probably give us an item thing per item uh, it doesn't actually, but it doesn't matter. We can just get all this stuff out. Now we want to break down this water. Yes. So you can see that we've got, we're going in a bit of a cycle here. We're getting a lot of carbon, hydrogen, and water. And if we need these things to be renewable, they very much can be. Chicken farms are very doable. Um, let's see that runs out. It does. Awesome. Chicken farms are very doable. Um, as are coal farms now, considering we have... Um, uh, what's it called? 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 Uh, magical crops. So we can do a lot of cool things with this mod, like some really powerful cool things. And the thing I'm going to use it first for is making a whole bunch of zombie flesh. Another way I consider doing it. Let's show you. In fact, let's just get that. Let's get these in here doing that whilst I show you. Nodular iron, by the way, is basically a kind of like a flesh-eating bacteria. So, um, I think so, anyway. Unless the toxin of a, ba of a bacteria, I think is the way it works. Um, okay, so let's see. You can see here that we can make the nodular iron out of this stuff. Now, if I looked up recipes, one of the best recipes I found was... Uh, come on, I think it's like one of the... It's basically an amino acid of some sort. Uh, yes, alanine, glycine, and even searing, I think. You can see these are really, really good. And they come from, a really good source of them is from string. So I actually made a string farm. However, it, the the sort of the proportions you get and the way mine chem actually deals with these chemicals and the way it stacks them made the actual auto crafting of everything a real pain in the backside. So I decided to just go with some items I already have quite a bunch of to see if that gets us enough flesh. And if it does, it does. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Now we have a bunch of hydrogen and oxygen now. Like an absolute bunch like, that's so cool um uh so we have hydrogen the most amount then oxygen then carbon uh so hydrogen then nitrogen then oxygen then carbon okay so actually no, we've got tons of carbon which is exactly what we want isn't it because we want to have no we want to have more so it's i think we're in the ratio of 60 if i remember this right to 41 uh we go and we can look this up and we will in fact we'll just do that right now 41 60 8 and 10 so that's how you do this guys you then go oh is it 8 of oxygen or 8 of, of nitrogen 8 of nitrogen you then put put why see why does that not stack it sometimes it doesn't stack and sometimes it does very peculiar uh very peculiar but anyway um this you then go and get this exact precise precise amounts come over here to the synthesis machine and put in that recipe there we go and eight and ten and you can see now the recipe for this is valid we can put that in and then we can actually take out a nodularin and you know what i need another synthesis machine don't i uh synthesis machine let us get one of these and one and eight of these which you could craft an exact amount that'd be cool well nine that'll do okay iron block there we go where's the iron block gone that's well, block of iron is it is that how it how weird that that wouldn't come up and synthesis machine should get us another one awesome 
we can come over here, we can put it here as well. Because this is going to put the nodular in and use that as a recipe for getting a brain. So now we can get the brains. So you can see, or rather the flesh as it is in real terms, we've got a setup, a setup here. Now it's not fully automatic, um, as I'm sure you've noticed, but it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this will... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I don't know if this will auto fill. It won't. Okay, but we can we can fix that. We can fix that. We can fix that. In fact, we can fix that a really cool way that I am going to do right about now, I think, actually. Yes. Give me a second to get set up, and then we can do that together. Okay, guys. So, one cool way of keeping a set amount of something in a machine is to use a regulator on a translocator. Now you get that by making some diamond nuggets, which you just turn the thing and then you get diamond nuggets. And then you can right click. Oh, no, 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 not on that thing itself. Let's put those back actually. You can right click on the actual translocator and then you can set it to be whatever you want. Now you can then like do, it's kind of awkward, but you can then do like, just put one in and then you can like click, shift click to get it up a decent amount. 41, 60, eight and 10. So that's the exact amount we want to keep in there. So now we can turn that on and it should go 41, or sorry, 60, yeah, and then 41. And then we can take it out and it'll do the same. And I think then once we get something to pull that out, we can automate this as opposed to having to just shift, sit here and shift click and stuff. But this is pretty cool. This is really cool. Ah, this is awesome. We've already got ourselves three brains, which isn't an awful lot, but it's a decent amount. <laughs> Four brains. Now, how, how are we doing for the stuff in here? Uh, not great, but not bad either. Sh middle clicking in these sorts of inventories just never works. Just never works. Oh, this is exciting. All right, guys. So this is a way I'm going to try and automate the production of some brains. The problem I have with uh, this mod, and there's not many because I think it is really fun, is the automation. I've put this on because I'm pretty sure all this stuff only goes through the top. And I've put this on in order to filter for nodularin. And it doesn't. It just pulls out... Wait a minute. Oh, it's because I've placed a decomposer. Ignore everything I've been saying. <laughs> okay, guys. I think I now have this semi-automated. So we've got this stuff pulling in precise amounts into here. Now, is it out of hydrogen? It is. And that's because I didn't decompose any in any water. That's why. Okay, so let's decompose some water. And then let's get some hydrogen stuff in there. Now, hydrogen is a really good source of water for obvious reasons. So we should be getting this stuff in here. Now, yes, now that's going to pull it into there. And that's going, and now we've got this. You can just, you can, oh, we can regularly filter them. But you don't, you can't regulate them. Uh, so this is only pulling in the nodular. Now, I have to set that. Otherwise, it will pull this shit out as far as my testing went. And then there's another one here that's only pulling out the brains. And here we've got brains. Now, it's slow in the sense that, you know, what are we out of this time? Carbon? No. 41. It's hydrogen again. That's okay. That's okay. We just need to work out a way of actually then automating this thing. So we probably need to make a couple more, like, decomposers, a couple more, um, uh, maybe barrels to store precise amounts of stuff, that kind of thing, because we're not getting the exact proportions we want. Um, and until we do, we're always going to come into a, a, a cup into a cropper where we do something that eventually makes us kind of run out of space and the system clog up a little. Um, and that's never ideal. Um, so we're going to have to work out a way for the system to not clog up. But apart from that, it should be working pretty well. We're already at 15. This is the slowest part. Translocators aren't the hugely the fastest thing, but they work pretty well. I'm not going to lie. They work They work pretty well. We've already got 18 brains. I mean, that's enough for another two blocks. I mean, 
I guess we could further fur, uh, further automate this further by doing the whole crafting of the of the brain thing. But I think a chest full of, well, is a diamond chest full of brains enough flesh? Probably not. Um, but that's okay. I think eventually we're going to get the micro blocks on the server uh, for the flesh. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But yeah, you can see that we've gone through quite a lot of material already. Um, out of hydrogen again. So yeah, you can see that there's 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 ways to go. There's ways to go. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh it might be a waste of coal. I'm not sure. Uh actually I don't know why I just put down all that coal. I'm pretty sure I've got coal is like what I've got the most of. Uh barrels would probably be better because it would give us an actual visual representation of what of like what we're breaking down uh feathers are a really good source i think i think they're one of the best sources here because getting the nit nitrogen is something we need a lot of hydrogen is something we need a lot of and uh, we can get a lot of that from the water too so i think we're, we're good to go we're good to go um so yeah i think that's that setup so let me just keep doing this for a little while get a decent amount of these things and then we'll be back later once i have uh, got the next project to do that's a decent amount of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. So we will see how much that gives us, and then we'll be able to roughly work out what elements we're good on and what we're not. The problem with these machines, well, not the problem, but you can see the... Uh, oh, it doesn't actually give me a max usage here. Energy per item, yeah, 500 RF a tick. You know, that's not cheap. You can see here they're actually kind of struggling to keep up. I might just put that down a little bit. Um... Something like, I know, a thousand. Um, I don't know why I'm struggling to get that right. Uh, are we gaining? We're doing a net gain now, so that's good. Uh, I mean, we're still generating plenty of power here, just that it wasn't going in there fast enough. I don't think that'll slow down. No, the, the speed limiting, the limiting thing here is the uh, translocators. So if we can find a faster item transportation, uh, AE would be very good, I think. Logistics pipes would be pretty good too, but we're not really at that part thing yet. Now... I'm sick and f I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick and tired of me not remembering the correct portal to go in and out of. Um, in fact, I, we don't even have another portal here right now. But I want to get back into my heart and check, like, what the power supply is doing. Am I enough coal? Etc, etc, etc. Now, and I want to occasionally go and check out my tree farm as well. Now, one of the cool ways we can do that is with a mod called Ender IO. Now, we need to make a staff of traveling. And we need to make a three travel anchors. And I think three is the, actually the perfect amount we can make. Now, let's see if I... Yes, I do. I have pulsating iron. I must have got this in the chest. That is awesome. So we've got lots of pulsating iron ingots. So let us get... Uh, let's just search the word anchor. I think that's a good one. Sorry for the uh, noise outside. <laughs> uh, let us get three of these, I hope. Awesome. And let us then get some of these. Okay, binder composites. Okay, I think we can get a decent amount there. Uh, do we have a furnace here on us? We do. So we don't have to go back and get that. That's cool. Let's quickly just set that up there and start cooking those. Is that, that going to cook? It is. Now, what are the other things we need? Uh, we need to make a travel anchor. Uh, is that what it's called? No, we can look it up here. Uh, staff of traveling. Okay. So we need to make electrical steel. We've got that already from, you know, class and chests and stuff. A vibrant crystal. Oh, vibrant nuggets. I don't know if we have a vibrant alloy. Oh, we do. Oh, guys, see chests, man. Chests are the best thing ever. Uh, staff of traveling. Okay. So we've got that. Uh, this should be pretty easy to make. Here we go. Now we need to make uh, this. Okay. And uh, this, okay, so we need, I think, what, four of those, if I've counted right? Okay, uh, come on, give me the recipe. Uh, yes, so, and then, okay, why do we not have those? Ah, yes, because we need to make two of these. Awesome. We're getting there, we're getting there, oh, no. We're getting there, guys, uh, we need to make one of those. We need to make this actual thing and then we need to make this actual thing and we have a staff of traveling this is so cool uh what's that what's the uh 
thermal expansion thing called again that allows you to charge the energetic infuser do we have one of those here we do awesome oh i love having stuff at hand guys just speeds up things so much that can hold an absurd amount of redstone flux holy shit that's probably wow are things keeping up that is the most impressive thing to date that's not even giving out that much redstone flux per tick max output that much that's a problem <laughs> let's boost that up wow oh my god look how much red that can hold more than like oh that's a lot that's a lot of stuff okay so hopefully this has got all this stuff well not all of it but a decent amount cooked up now let's get some of the anchors on the go now i, I i'm just doing this from like memory so i don't know if this is going to oh, come on now I don't know if this is going to work, but I hope it is. Uh, I hope we can make three of these things now. We can. Not memory. Memory's not the right word. Um, like, I know the concept of this. Like, because um, I've seen other people use these machines. But I've never seen anyone build them and set them up. Uh, so, I'm just guessing right now. But I think what we can do. Oh, come on now. I hate dropping that stuff. I think what we can do is now the problem that we've gonna have is these things are all really far away from it from itself. But what we want to get is oh did I leave that in the infuser? I must have done. Is that yes, it works. Okay, awesome. Let's I'll not ruin that yet. So what I'm gonna do is I don't know why I just picked that up, but I kinda wanna have it over here by my bed. What I wanna do is show you it in action itself. Alright? I think you guys are gonna love that. So Let's get over to our three main sort of areas. All right. Okay. So let us go over. Oh, why is oh oh? Let us go over to the heart and let us put ooh, this somewhere. I think maybe right here. Yep. And oh, I hear Molly back. Hope, and uh, so I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll just demonstrate this now. Uh, is that too far away for me to see? Don't tell me it's too far away for me to see. Am I looking the right way? I think I am. Maybe it's in the way of something. Maybe it's over. Uh, damn it. But anyway, okay. Well, the idea is, guys, watch this. Uh, let me fly out here and show you. Uh, I need to go soon because I can hear people calling my name. But the idea is quickly that you can... Sorry about that, guys. Um, so basically, these allow you to teleport, right? I'm just trying to go and see how far away I can teleport with this. Okay, it doesn't appear now, but it did then. But if I keep going back with it, no, it disappears. Okay, well, that's all right. Because look, awesome. How awesome is that? So basically, what I'll need to do is I'll need to go and put another midway point over here. I'm going to say that should be fine. So we can just go like that. And then we can get to the heart by going like that. How cool is that? It burns through power fucking extraordinarily. But it is going to be really awesome for us. Because we can nip around. Oh, how are we going with power, guys? How are we doing? We are actually really struggling. <laughs> okay, well that's fine. Are we at eighty? Are we going at eighty at the moment? Uh, no, we're going at. F are we? No, we're going at four. Okay, we're struggling for keeping up with that coal, but that's okay. We can we can sort that off. We can sort that off camera. What am I? How is that not getting enough coal? How is that not getting enough coal? Let's go find out. Uh, in the future, I'm gonna need to go get more of that pulsating iron because I want to make more of those travel anchors. I want to make more of them, yo. Uh, and the current, what's the current portal I have in there, I think it's blue. I, I'm so bad at remembering. I, I think there's a way of, of showing it, but I think maybe it's like what's up. It is. So, okay. I'll never. I should hopefully never make that mistake again. Anyway, uh, why are why is this not on? Why is this ex exhibiting a redstone signal? That's the problem here. Because it's it's giving out a signal, but you're not full. Why 
What the hell? That is weird, man. That is weird. Okay, gonna have to keep an eye on that. Hmm. Alright, well, at least the tree farm started again, so... Are we good for bone meal? No, we're not. We need to get that set up in the on on the in in the immediacy as well. But I will do that off camera because you've seen me do that a bunch of times. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has probably been at least two episodes worth, so um, it might cut up a little bit as well in post editing. But I hope you guys like it. Remember that if you do like it, please remember to give a like. If you dislike it, please remember to give it a dislike. But then also, hopefully, leave a comment letting me know on why you dislike it and what the hell I can do differently. Awesome. So guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will see you next time.